Hello, this is Nick Schwader, and this is the tutorial for how to use the new Portcast website. This is created to hook into the State of Montana databases to give users the opportunity to see what checks and credit card charges the state is using with a usable interface, and also to receive what are called Portcasts, which are emails, which alerts you anytime the state pays someone by credit card or writes a check which is published and registered with the state to open information. So let's say I've just heard about this and I want to sign up. First thing I do is I enter in an email address that I want to receive the forecast from the account. And then I really want to find out, I was just curious about what Walmart is getting from the state. So. I get some auto suggests here on the side and I click that to make sure my query matches up with the state database. I click Portcast. Now it says I'm going to need a password so that if I want to come back and opt out of the emails or add new queries, I can do that. So I come up with my password here and I sign up. All right, that's great. Let's see, three and a half grand to Walmart, 28 payments. Let's have a look at that. You click show payments here. And here's a table that you can browse through that shows all the payments that Walmart's received. And if you wanna see more, you can add additional entries it gives you a few rows here. It tells you if it's a check or a credit card. It allows you to sort by the amount in the payment category. There's also handy little charts here which shows you the different categories that the spending was divvied up between. And that's all right. If I think I want to create another podcast and I want to see what Nicholas Schwader has been getting from the taxpayers because he's so I've just been suspicious. So the search helper here helps us get the query exactly right for what the state database needs for us to access it. And it loads here for a minute as it's pulling it in. And voila! So it looks like a lot of it is per diem. And I can search and sort it. And that's good, but I want to have a comparison. There's this other representative I heard about. I think his name is Zol something. Zolne cover or something the other. Oh, there he is. I'd like to create a podcast for him too. Now that the query is created, and I think this is just the neatest thing, if I want to share it with my friends, all I have to do is copy this link and share into Twitter, Facebook, or email. And then everybody else can access this data on a separate page as well. So let's go back to my podcasts. Right now I've got three. But I actually don't want an email every time Daniel gets a check. That's just creepy. And now I'm opted out of receiving podcast notifications. And Nicholas Schwader, let's, we can also sort these rows. And if you decide you're done with the query and don't want to hold on to it, you can delete it and it'll be removed. Well, that's a basic tour of how the podcast system works. Go out there and keep your government accountable. And thank you for using podcasts.